part 2 of gram negative cocoa bacilli so these bacteria are cocoa bacilli because their shape is somewhere in between coccus and bacillus they are gram negative because they take up the counter stain safranin instead of retaining crystal violet hence they appear pink under the microscope right after gram stain so the first bacteria we are going to look at in this lecture is Borditella pertussis Borditella pertussis are small they are gram negative cocoa bacilli and they are fastidious, meaning finicky. Uh, most successful if cultured during the cataral stage. So the cataral stage uh, is when you experience mild respiratory symptoms, such as mild coughing, sneezing, or running nose. They are grown on charcoal agar, and bordered ganghu agar with added cephalosporin shows mercury drop-like colonies. Cephalosporin is a beta-lactam antibiotic. They are oxidase positive and are urease and catalase negative. Here we have uh, bordetella pertussis, colonies growing on charcoal agar. Here we have uh, bordetella pertussis under microscopic view. Bordetella pertussis are non motile, causes warping cough, and acellular pertussis vaccine DTAP should be given to infants and children 2 months, 4 months, 6 months, 15 to 18 months, and 4 to 6 years of age. So, DTAP vaccine is a combined vaccine against diphtheria, tetanus, and pertussis. The upper case the uppercase T D stands for diphtheria, the uppercase T stands for tetanus, while the uh, uppercase P stands for pertussis. The lowercase A, on the other hand, stands for acellular. <coughs> Next bacteria, Pastuarella maltosida. Pastuarella maltosida are small, they are gram negative cocoa bacilli and will grow at 37 degrees Celsius on blood or chocolate agar, but will not grow on McConkie's agar. Colony growth is accompanied by a mousy odor due to its uh, metabolic byproducts. They are also fastidious, meaning finicky. They are oxidase positive and catalase positive. Here we have colonies of Pastuarella maltosida growing on blood agar, Pastuarella maltosida under microscopic view. So, Pastuarella maltosida are facultative anaerobes. They cause wound infections after cat or dog bites. Next bacteria, Campylobacter hehuni. So, Campylobacter hehuni are curved rods to spiral. They are gram negative cocoa bacilli. They grow at 42 degrees Celsius on blood agar with multiple antibiotics to select from other fecal organisms. They are catalase positive, nitrate positive and oxidase positive. Here we have uh, colonies of Campylobacter hehuni growing on CCDA. CCDA stands for charcoal cephoparazone deoxycholate agar which is a which is a campylobacter selective agar here we have a uh, campylobacter hehuni under microscopic view campylobacter hehuni so a microaerophilic or capnophilic atmosphere is required when culturing campylobacter hehuni so what does this mean well let let me take a uh, Campylobacter hehuni as an example. So, Campylobacter hehuni, for instance, are microaerophiles, hence, they require an environment uh, with oxygen levels that are lower than that of our atmosphere. Also, remember that many microaerophiles are capnophiles, and capnophiles are actually organisms that require a fancy and elevating level of carbon dioxide. So in order to achieve such an environment, uh, capnophiles are usually cultivated in a candle jar. So in the, in the candle jar, the flame actually burns until it is extinguished by the oxygen depleted surrounding. 
which in turn creates a carbon dioxide rich oxygen poor atmosphere Campylobacter hehuni are fastidious and mortal they are one of the most common causes of gastroenteritis in the US next bacteria Campylobacter coli Campylobacter coli are spiral the gram negative coco bacilli they grow at 42 degrees celsius and they are grown on charcoal cephoparazone not uh, not not parazone cephoparazone deoxycholic agar uh, campylo and also grown on a campylobacter enrichment broth which is also known as a bolton formulation this is a selective enrichment broth for the isolation of Campylobacter hehuni, Campylobacter coli, and Campylobacter fetus. A micro aerophilic or capnophilic atmosphere is required, and they are also oxidase positive. Here we have uh, uh, cam Campylobacter uh, colonies of Campylobacter coli growing on. Charcoal, cephoparazone, deoxycholic agar. Uh, Campylobacter coli under microscopic view, and, and here very clearly is a, a spiral shaped Campylobacter coli. Campylobacter coli are fastidious, and Campylobacter coli together with Campylobacter hehuni are responsible for Campylobacter enteritis severe causes severe diarrhea and abdominal pains they are also associated with the consumption of undercooked meat and poultry uh, next bacteria Campylobacter fetus Campylobacter fetus are spiral they are gram negative cocoa bacilli but does not grow at 42 degrees celsius requires a selective medium uh, known which is actually the CCDA also known as charcoal cephoparazone deoxycholate agar it's also grown in an uh, in an uh, enriched and in, in an campylobacter enrichment in a campylobacter enrichment broth also known as the Bolton formulation they are oxidase positive and a micro aerophilic and capnophilic atmosphere is required. Uh, here we have uh, Campylobacter fetus and some of the bacteria here as you can see have this uh, seagull wing morphology very clearly illustrated here. Campylobacter fetus. Well, sometimes uh, these bacteria may have a V-shaped morphology resembling a seagull's wing. Campylobacter fetus causes spontaneous abortion in animals and as well as bloody diarrhea. Next bacteria, Helicobacter pylori. Helicobacter pylori are spiral, they are gram-negative cocobacilli. They, are grown on, they grow on blood agar and are microaerophilic. Uh, they, are, they are oxidase catalase and urease positive and lives at a pH of 2. Very acidic environment. So here we have uh, colonies of Helicobacter pylori growing on blood agar. Uh, here, uh, Helicobacter pylori under microscopic view. Day 2 uh, appear spiral in sh a spiral under microscopic view. Helicobacter pylori. So a urea breath test for clinical diagnosis is often done in endoscopy suite. They are fastidious. And they are highly motile due to uh, flagella, due to the presence of flagella, causes chronic gastritis and gastric ulcers, and are linked to the development of duodenal ulcers and stomach cancer. Next bacteria, Legionella pneumophila. Legionella pneumophila are stained poorly. 
the gram negative cocoa baseline and required cysteine for growth, therefore, cultured on buffered charcoal yeast extract agar plate, abbreviated as CYE. Colonies are grey to white with a textured cut grass appearance. They are oxidase and catalase positive and produce beta lactamase. So this is an enzyme that uh, digests uh, or break down beta lactam antibiotics, hence they are they are resistant to beta lactam antibiotics. They are unable to produce urease and are therefore non fermenters. Here we have uh, co uh, colonies of Legionella pneumophila growing on charcoal yeast extract agar plate. Uh, Legionella pneumophila under microscopic view. Legionella pneumophila are fastidious, causes Legionnaire's disease, which is a severe toxic pneumonia. They grow in amoeba in standing water. So they are intracellular pathogens that grow in macrophages, especially alveolar macrophages. Uh, these are mac macrophages that you find in the alveolus uh, of your lungs. So with that, I thank you.